हॅलो एव्हरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर सतीश एस बोरणारे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जेनेटिक्स अँड प्लांट ब्रिडिंग केकेवा कॉलेज ऑफ अग्रिकल्चर नाशिक टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न द टॉपिक एन्व्हायरमेंट अँड इट्स कंपोनंट सो फ्रेंड्स दि वर्ड एन्व्हायरमेंट इज डिझाइव फ्रॉम दि फ्रेंच वर्ड दि वर्ड एन्व्हायरॉन मिनिंग सराउंडिंग अँड दि मेंट मिनिंग दि ॲक्शनिंग so according to the douglas and holland the term environment is used to describe in the aggregate all the external forces influences and conditions which affect the life nature behavior and the growth development and maturity of the living organism another scientist boring according to him a person's environment consists of the sum total of a stimulation which he receives from his conception until his death so in nut cell the surrounding of an organism is nothing but its environment now the environment is broadly categorized into two components first one is a biotic component and abiotic second one is abiotic component in biotic the plants different plants that is flora and animals fauna and microbes are the different biotic component of the environment while in in case of a biotic component the temperature precipitation moisture solar energy atmospheric gases and wind are the some of the examples of the abiotic component of the environment then this environment having the major four component first one is atmosphere then lithosphere then biosphere and hydrosphere now we can see the in detail the different components of the environment in which first is atmosphere so the cover of the air that envelops the earth is known as atmosphere or in a simple word the blanket of the air around the earth or surrounding the earth is known as atmosphere and we can see here the composition of the atmosphere most of us are aware about this that the atmosphere is having roughly 78% of the nitrogen and 21% of the oxygen and all other trace gases are in 1% so this is the percentage by volume or and we can see here also then we can see the different layers of the atmosphere now in this diagram the first the different height of the different layers of the atmosphere this la- diff- atmosphere having different layers we can see here and the temperature of the layer is also different and at the end the transport and natural phenomenon occurring in the different layers of the atmosphere we can see here now we can see detail one by one first one is a troposphere so the troposphere is the first layer of the atmosphere and most important layer of the atmosphere is having the average height of 13 km and the air we breathe is ex- exist in this layer so this layer is going to be very important and almost all the weather phenomena as we can see in earlier diagram also like rainfall fog and hail storm occurs in this layer and next to this there is a stratosphere and boundary between this troposphere and stratosphere is tropopause and the stratosphere is above the troposphere and extend up to the height of 50 to 55 km and up to about 20 km the temperature remain constant and then increases with increase in height and the most important feature of this layer is ozone layer and ozone layer the protective layer is present in the stratosphere at the height of near about 23 km from the mean sea level next to that the mesosphere and the boundary between the stratosphere and mesosphere is a stratopause this mesosphere is a layer above the stratosphere and extend up to the height of 80 km temperature decreases slowly with altitude but 
lastly then sharply about uh, minus 75 degree celsius and next to this mesosphere the thermosphere in thermosphere the temperature increases rapidly with increase in height as we can see uh, in diagram earlier there is increase in temperature in a thermosphere and heating of this layer is due to the absorption of the solar energy and within this thermosphere there is a layer of charged particle known as ionosphere and above this thermosphere there is a last sphere that is exosphere it exists above the ionosphere and extend up to the height up to the height of 2000 km above the earth surface and this layer is almost airless and empty and contain hydrogen gas in ionized state and that's why the very high temperature near about 2000 degree celsius so these are the different layers or zones of the atmosphere and next the component of the environment is hydrosphere the word hydro itself indicate it's related to water the hydrosphere comprises of all types of water resources such as oceans seas lakes rivers streams reservoirs Uh, polar ice caps glaciers and ground water and about nature 97% of the earth water supply is in the ocean and about only 2% of the water resources is locked in the polar ice caps and ice caps glaciers and out of 100% only 1% is available as a fresh water in the form of rivers lakes streams and ground water and which is fit to be used as a human consumption or other uses so out of 100 only 1% water is usable for human being for its different uses the next one is a lithosphere this is also important component or zone component of the environment this lithosphere is outer mantle of the solid earth we can see in the diagram also the crust and uppermost soil mantle is a lithosphere and it consists of minerals occurring in the earth crust and the soil and examples of the different minerals organic matters and airs and waters are present in the lithosphere we can see in the diagram also next to that there is biosphere the biosphere indicate the realm of living organism and their interaction with the other component of the environment that is atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere in the diagram we can see the biosphere is the zone where the living organism and their interaction with the other component of the environment there is a interaction among these different component of the environment we can see in this diagram the biosphere is interacted with lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere so these are the different components of the environment interact with each other thank you this video is for education purpose only and references are as below thanks once again